Tonight for dinner, Alan and I want to make spaghetti a la carbonara. <laughs> so we're at um, Bosa Foods right now and we're just about to head in because we need some, what do we need? Babe? Pancetta. Pancetta and maybe possibly some egg noodles, right? Yes. Yeah, so Bosa Food is a Italian grocery store in Vancouver and Alan and I don't really often go here, but today we need to because we want to make the real deal. Yeah, it didn't, wasn't as good with bacon. Yeah, mm, it smells so good in here. It smells like pizza, fresh pizza, like baked pizza or Italian. something. Yeah, look at all the goodies though. A lot of olive oil, pasta. Yummy, there's so many different kinds. Egg noodles, egg noodles. So Alan and I are choosing our pancetta right now. We have two different options, or three. This is, I think that one's the one that's made in house. Yeah. She said it's really good, and this one is shipped in from Toronto. Mm -hmm. They also have the flat version as well, but what are you gonna choose, babe? I think the in-house one looks really fatty though, right? Yeah, look pancetta's always been very fat. I know, but look at that layer of white stuff. You think it's too fat? It's up to you, does it look better? <laughs> but uh, we chose our egg noodle. We chose this one because Alan said Rachel Ray uses it. So it's the 100% authentic Italian egg pasta and it comes in like these little rounds. And the only thing is, why do all of these pasta have like huge broken bits at the bottom? That just like sucks. <laughs> Should we just choose one that's cheaper and less fat? It's up to you. It's such a beautiful sunny Friday. And Alan and I are doing our usual grocery shopping today because every Friday that's what we do. And this week we did something different. We actually made a <laughs> shopping list. We feel like super, super old, but yeah, we made a shopping list because every time we look at the flyers online and we're like, ooh, ooh, that's on sale, that's on sale, that's on sale. And then by the time we get to the store, we're like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, we forgot that item. So I finally. We're like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna write a grocery shopping list. So like every time I see like old people with their shopping list, I'm like, I'm like thinking, wow, they're really? old. <laughs> do you really need a shopping list to know what you're buying? But I see why they do it now. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we've been doing. So we just got home and I decided that I am just going to do a haul video with a try on so i'm not gonna do an open box review so i've got my handy dandy scissors here and i'm just about to open this package here so if you guys want to see the video definitely check out my main channel i'm gonna film it right now so i'm not filming at my usual spot because as you can see alan has taken over <laughs> he's getting ready to cook the carbonara so i just wanted to show you guys what my backup filming area is look how ghetto this is <laughs> I had to put my camera on the tripod on a towel to not get our bed dirty and since the sun is out I thought I might as well film with like natural light so basically I'm just gonna film in our bedroom for now and yeah this is a sneak peekage for you guys on my vlog channel <laughs> so definitely check it out if you guys want to see what I am hauling today and I'm trying on but so far I am pretty impressed with the clothing and I actually really like Pretty much all of them so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and film now and then I'm gonna eat dinner because I'm actually getting quite hungry so I just finished filming and I'm wearing one of the dresses right now this is what it looks like it's the asymmetric black dress and I absolutely love it and that video took a little bit longer to film because I did a haul plus a try on plus I took pictures for my blog as well so it took a little bit longer it's almost six o'clock so that took me like almost an hour so yeah I'm gonna clean up and then probably see what Ellen's up to for dinner mmm it smells so good so this is the hardest part of the carbonara pouring the egg mixture in so you don't want to cook the eggs a little bit at a time do you want me to pour it all in me? Um, a little bit more. Stir, stir, stir. Ooh, good job, Alan. Doesn't this look very gourmet? Can you guys believe it's homemade? Look, he even sprinkled some cilantro on top to um, amp up the presentation. <laughs> How was it, babe? It tastes so much better with pancetta and egg noodles. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember the last time we cooked this? We cooked it with just regular spaghetti and bacon. Yeah. 
But when you actually use the egg noodles and the pancetta, it's worth it. Wow, yeah. Worth the price? Yeah, it changes the taste so much. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Slaved over a hot kitchen. Ooh, mm. look at that. Parmigiano, Reggiano. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's try. Carbonara is so good. I fell in love with it when we went to Italy. The first meal we had was carbonara. Yeah, so good. And then I never had it before. <laughs> it is better, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, so creamy. Mm -hmm. And the pancetta is much stronger than bacon. Mm -hmm. right? That flavor changes the whole spaghetti's flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. If you guys make carbonara. carbonara, definitely use the authentic stuff. Even the noodles are so good. Mm -hmm. Right? Ooh, you guys want some? No, I always tease you guys. I won't do it this time. <laughs> so, Ellen and I are out right now we're at home sense because we didn't want to like stay in on friday night plus it's nice outside and we saw this lamp here i don't know if you guys can see that at the other home sense in richmond and it's from ralph lauren but it's exactly what i want but they only had one so we decided to come out here to see if they had it but they didn't so it's kind of sad but this one only had one lamp so it was either it was a bust either way so i'm gonna show you guys what we find today first item is we found this bed here it's kind of similar to what I was looking for and it's so cheap it was like it's what is it $549.99 and it's the king size as well but the only thing is it only comes with like the, the side headboard. yeah the headboard and it comes with the side piece that comes out like that but it doesn't come with like what's the that frame. called yeah the frame the bottom piece so no Wow, this home sense that we're at has so much stuff. Like it's all stocked up. But I thought this tray was really pretty. I'm not gonna get it, but I thought I'd show you guys. This would be like a nice kind of vanity tray or even like in your washroom to put your products on. So cute. Look, this is pretty cool to organize your closet. You can loop your scarves inside. Saves you a lot of room. So after home sense, Ellen and I stopped by Walmart. Of course, my happy place. <laughs> I know. Hey, but Alan bought stuff too. <laughs> and I bought stuff too. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do a quick haul in the car. Only for you guys do I put all the lights on in the car just to do a haul. <laughs> but um, it's so funny. Alan and I were like heading out of Walmart and we're like, whoa, it's already 10 something. And to like normal people, this is the time to go out and party and everything on Friday night. And Alan and I are like, whoa. So sleepy. Yeah past our bedtime. But wow, look at the, what's it called? The sunset, so gorgeous. Ooh. But yeah, we're on our way home. I'll just do a quick haul for you guys. There was so much new stuff at Walmart. And in no particular order, <laughs> I got these um, Kiss lashes because the band, it looks very comfortable since it's not like a full band. I'm wearing big lashes today and it's like a full band so it's really irritating my eyes right now so I decided to pick this up it's very natural in number zero three and then I got let's see here, the new Revlon skinny liquid liner and this is only 0.1 millimeter so it'd be perfect for me because you guys know I like the natural look and then the new Revlon what is this Mm, basically their new eyeliner and it's supposed to stay, stay up to 16 hours and I got the purple version and it also has like a little smudger as well so I thought that was pretty cool and I think purple goes really nice because I wear like hazel contacts so I think those two colors would go really nice together and then also these last two items I was so excited about I got the new Sally Hansen color foil nail polishes and these are like pretty cool because when Alan and I were in Asia we saw like the ad of metallic nails and I haven't been able to like find something similar so this is definitely it. I got the rose copper and also of course the silver version so I'm excited to try all of these and definitely we'll be doing a review but yeah we're just gonna head home now and probably crash right babe <laughs> yeah so I'll leave you guys with the beautiful sunset good night everybody good night good night, good night. so gorgeous 
Good morning, everybody, and happy first day of summer! Today's the first, I know, today's the first day of summer, so it's the summer solstice. And I want to show you guys what perfect, gorgeous weather we have in Vancouver for the first day of summer. Look how beautiful that is. It's so sunny and warm. And you guys can hear the birds chirping outside, too. Oh. She woke up at five in the morning. <laughs> I know I couldn't sleep because what do I want to do, babe? What did you say? I can't sleep because I want to have fun all oh, day. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Like seriously, remember I told you guys last time, like how like on work days you sleep like a baby, and then non work days you just want to get up and going. Especially because it's like summer now and it's all sunny outside. It's like, oh, I don't want to sleep. I just want to go get out, start. Have fun and go do our stuff. I know, but this morning we are going to use our Vitamix. I want to show you guys what Alan, what our fridge looks like. Actually, doesn't this look like a juice bar? Oh yeah, <laughs> we got. What do we have here? Red delicious apples, and then we have some pears. We got a whole bunch of lemons, um, green grapes in the back there. We got some cucumbers and a whole lot of spinach. And also Ellen put cold water inside the fridge. So when we juice later, our, is it juice or smoothie? I think I smoothie, right? I guess so. We are so new at this. <laughs> It's, it's either a juice or a smoothie, I'm not sure. We'll see what the consistency turns out to be, but yeah, we have cold water, so our smoothie or juice will be cold and stuff, but. Because we don't have ice. I know, because our ice trays are somewhere in that disastrous storage, storage room. room. Somewhere. Somewhere. I'm guessing, just if it was our luck, it's probably in, in the, the corner. Back. Yeah, in the back of everything. But yeah, this is how it looks like, guys. Ellen and I are very happy with it. And thank goodness our future like cabinets are a lot higher, right? Yeah. So this will definitely will not be like touching it. It's probably gonna be like up no, to. No, 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 no. It'll be about. It'll be about this. Is it like that? Maybe up to here at most. Yeah. It looks really similar in height. Yeah, but if we store it, we can just like always take it off and put it to the side or something. But it goes right underneath. Mm-hmm. And when you use it, you can just pull it up, pull it out so you have room so it's not touching the thing. But Look how pretty it looks. I'm pretty happy with black. It looks very sleek and everything. And if you touch it right now, it's... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Staticky. Staticky. Okay, here it goes, guys. The first time we're ever going to use our Vitamix. And Ellen and I, you know, it's our first time, so we don't know what to put in. So we're basically going to put in everything that we think is healthy <laughs> and <laughs> whatever we like to eat, basically. And then... Hope it tastes good. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. But right, we're gonna put in cucumber, some green grapes, some lemon with the lemon peel as well, a slice of ginger, just a tiny bit, and then also some apples, and we have some frozen strawberries and also some cold water and spinach. Yeah, oh, spinach as well. And we didn't buy like you know the pack of berries because it's strawberry season right now, so it's cheaper to actually buy the strawberries and just freeze it yourself. So that's my kind of our quick tip for you guys <laughs> to save a little bit of money especially if the fruits are in season so here we go are you excited honey kind of I'm kind of nervous <laughs> that i'm doing this in front of everybody i know so we'll see if we fail or not <laughs> you enough water um i think so do you think that's too much water how much did he put in i don't know okay we'll just try it We'll see how it goes. But if you guys have any, if you guys like to like do smoothies or juice as well, let me know if you have any of your personal like favorite recipes we would love to know or even like um, kind of juice or smoothie sites that they have recipes on. Definitely let me know in the comments down below because we would love to try anything kind of healthy and fun and new. But I'm guessing this is gonna turn out kind of green or is it red? I don't know. But it's that's like enough strawberries? Yeah, that should be enough. Oh, we frozen. We froze our strawberries because we don't have ice, so we're using it as ice. Oh yeah, smart. Alan and I are really, really like nervous right now because I don't know. It's all so new to us. But basically, you smoothie switch it. Mode. Is that the smoothie mode? Yeah, smoothie mode. 
ice cream mode and soup, soup right? mode. Okay, so smoothie mode and... Here it goes. Let's hope it's not too loud because we we have to wait a bit. We didn't want to wake up our neighbor. Yeah, because it's only like 8.30 right now. So here we go. Whoa. gonna get a straw I'm gonna choose a yellow one because it's the first day of summer so it represents the sunshine and this we is what... a very big you guys can come over and drink it with us <laughs> I think that would be like what four five people yeah and it's very green Ooh. can you feel the healthiness honey yeah because we didn't eat veggies yesterday <laughs> all of our meals had no vegetables I know but look how like What's that word? Pulverized? Mmm, it's really refreshing. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yay! It's really good. Mmm, I kind of taste like... The spinach? Yeah, and the, no, no, the ginger, I think. Ah, you try, you try. okay. I actually really like it. What do you think? There's something like that taste in the background. This is ginger. And this is why the Vitamix sold me. Well, I guess it's not just the Vitamix, I guess most of the blenders do this too. But it kind of cleaned itself without us having to wash it manually by, by hand. And they said all you do is put a little bit of soap in. Because it's really dirty. Put some warm water into it. Sorry, sink is very messy because we just finished eating breakfast. How much water we need to put in it so alright this is probably more than enough. Yes I close it tight. Make sure it's closed tight baby. Yeah make sure it's closed tight because the guy at Costco forgot to close it and he he was about to run it but someone noticed it wasn't closed and it would have sprayed all over me. And as I just run it for about a minute let it pulse And then they say it's all clean. All you do is, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's stuck. Pour it all out and rinse, and it's all done. It's such a beautiful first day of summer, and Ellen and I are headed to meet up with my sisters and their loved ones. Oh, that sounded weird. My sisters and their significant others because <laughs> I'm their loved one too. <laughs> but yeah, we're headed to dim sum right now and then I don't know what we're going to do after but Ellen and I definitely need our caffeine fix right now because we are starting to feel like we need a nap. So maybe tea possibly? Hopefully that works because I'm so tired. I know. We stayed out way too late, woke up way too early. Yeah. And then it only stopped five hours. I know. But it's okay because it's a nice sunny day. If it was like raining and pouring outside, I think I'd be more yeah. like, you know. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have even came out for them. So. Yeah. T-T-O-T-D, green tea. We have like brand names. Hi, Bean. Look it. I love it when your tail, tail wags like that, like a little donut. <laughs> Bean, go home. Go home. Go home. No, go home. Open. Bean, come here. Bean đi dây nè Bean Bean Đây nè Bean come in Bean Go Go home Bye bye Ooh, Cold Harbor is really pretty right now And right now My siblings and I are riding this electric bike And we rented it from this place called Easy Bike Hence the name Easy <laughs> For lazy people Yeah definitely What you do is you can turn on the throttle and basically this is the throttle here and it kind of just uh, rides for your, for you or you can just turn it off and ride by yourself. And this is what like the electric part looks like. It's pretty cool. So off we go. 
So we just finished shopping at H&M and look at this. I want to show you guys the epicness of this. This guy totally does not know how to park and I'd be pretty pissed out if I were the CRV. Look at his mirrors are even touching. So off we go.